I'm here in the Scottish Highlands and I'm hiking to a remote Bothy shelter in a scenic glen. I'll be spending the night surrounded by nature and cozied up by the fireplace. Come along for the adventure. The next glen over to my left is Glen Finnan, which is really well known for the viaduct which features in the Harry Potter films. The glen I'm currently in is Glen Do Lee, which is definitely less popular, so I doubt I'll see that many people on this trail. Starting the adventure alongside the Dooley River and there's just a couple of waterfalls. Really picturesque. It's a nice start. With the calming sound of the river to my side, I started my journey towards the Bothy, excited for the adventure that lay ahead. Here's another one of these waterfalls. Let's see this one. Oh, that's really nice. This is beautiful. It's about three and a half kilometers from where I parked the car to this bothy. So it's not too far. So I'm hoping I can get there before the rain starts. If you look around, it's quite gloomy and there's heavy rain forecast pretty much all night. And I think 60 mile per hour wind gusts overnight. That's why I've decided to come to a bothy. I'll be nice and sheltered, nice and warm by the fire. <laughs> really looking forward to it. I'd be following a forestry track most of the way. The track led me deeper into the glen, and I was fully immersed in nature. The trees around me, no doubt hundreds of years old, had stories to tell, and as I wandered along, I couldn't help but listen. Well, the rain has started, but I'm not even bothered. This is everything I'd imagined, and more, of this trail. So peaceful. It's just me walking in amongst the trees with a river to my side. It's just I feel alive when I'm out in nature like this. It's amazing. But on the note of it's just me, when I parked up, there was actually a van beside me. And then like about 20 people <laughs> jumped out of it. It's like the TARDIS, they just kept on coming out. So I went up and asked them if they were going to the Bothy. And lucky enough, they're not. They're going in that direction, but they're heading just further on. So, I was a bit worried for a second that I might not get a spot in the Bothy. But, we'll be fine. As I continued on through the forest, I tried to slow down and take in everything around me. It was quite a noisy place, with the sound of the river and the wildlife all around. Yet it somehow also seemed so quiet and peaceful. Just entered into a really dense forest. This is amazing, this place. It's hard to describe, but there's just something about forests. They're just so comforting. You just, you never feel scared. You never feel alone, even if you are alone. They're just, they're so pleasant to be in and so peaceful. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite places to be for sure. We've had a lot of storms recently in Scotland. And you can tell just by walking in this forest. So many of these trees are on their last legs, almost fallen over, and then so many of them, they've almost snapped in half, and these huge branches have fallen. You would not want that to fall on you. They are huge. Right, I've reached a crossroads. Pretty sure I'm heading down in this direction. The Bothy's not too far. I'm about to cross the river. And I'm really hoping there's a bridge. If you saw my last video, I've had some trouble with a lack of bridges. So <laughs> hopefully I don't make that mistake again. Oh yes, <laughs> we're in luck. There is indeed a bridge to cross this river. I not want to be crossing that without a bridge. There is. First glimpse. Let's get up there, get out of this rain. Oof. It's quite dark in here already. But 
Look, this is beautiful. It's quite small, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Look at the wood though, it's so nice. Oh, I'm quite happy I'm not out there. It's raining quite heavily now. I'm nice and dry in here. So this is the main room. That's the sleeping platform that I'll be sleeping on if no one else comes. And you've got a sort of workbench here, big whiteboard, the fireplace, which I'll definitely be making use of later on. And then this window, which is letting in a good amount of light. But then if I head into the other room, it's just two rooms. This room through here just has another workbench. I don't know if you could sleep on that, maybe. And then just some like cooking utensils. Oh. So because it gets dark at about 5 p.m. here in Scotland in the winter time, this is going to be my home for the night for the next 15 or 16 hours. It doesn't get light until about 8 or 9. So I'm going to go outside and make the most of the light. Have a look around, see what I can see, because once it gets dark, it's just going to be me in the fire for a long time. So yeah, let's get moving. Shut this behind me. Stop any creepy crawlies getting in. I'm just going to go a walk whilst the rain's off. There's a wee path next to the bothy that continues on, so I'm going to see where it goes. But yeah, this is Glen Lee Bothy, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a lot nicer than some of the other bothies I've been to. And the reason that the wood inside the bothy does actually look so new is there was a fire here, I think 2011, that burnt down most of the bothy. So they ended up having to redo it. And that's why it looks so new, because it is so new. But yeah, it just means it's more comfortable for people like me that come along. It's a brilliant job they've done, it really is. I don't know if this section here was part of the bothy that burnt down. But, to be honest, it just looks like that was part of the old house before they made the bothy. But look at that. It is really nice. Such a scenic area. I don't think this path is leading me anywhere, so I'm just going to turn around. Head back in the direction of the bothy. It's been nice, though, to get a bit of fresh air. The walk-in wasn't too long, so... A bit of fresh air before I'm locked in that bothy for... A long, long time. There are a few big mountains around here. I'm not too sure where that one is there, but I think that one through the trees there is Streep, which is a pretty famous corbett. Gonna have a look through the Bothy book, see what there is in here. Oh, I watched this guy on YouTube, Colin Russell, Scottish Wild Camper. I've seen quite a few of his videos. He came on the 22nd, that was only like a week ago. Right, I think it's time for a tea. It's getting a little bit cold in here. So I'm going to go and collect water in that river first. And then I'll be back to make a warm tea. Right, let's get this tea on. Oh, that's one. Oh, gonna double bag it as always, make it a bit stronger. Add a bit of milk. Oh, right, let's see if it's any good. It's definitely warm. <sighs> yeah, I absolutely love tea. So nice. Let me know what side you're on, by the way. Do you take the tea bags out and then pour in the milk? I've seen a lot of arguments over this. 
you know, pouring the milk in whilst the tea bags are still in. I think that's criminal, to be fair. I don't really know why, because it's the same outcome, but you got to take the tea bags out then, pour in the milk. Right, I think it's time for my dinner. It's about 6pm, it's dark outside, and I'm getting pretty hungry. I've just got one of these pasta bolognese ready meal packs. I've actually kind of gone off them, but I bought them in bulk, so for the next few adventures, I'm going to be eating these, but... As it is, it's warm food, so let's get this on. Right, that has been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna taste this. It actually smells quite nice, this one. Mm. Yeah, it's alright. It does the trick and it's warm. It's about 7 pm now, and it's been pitch black for about two or three hours. So it's definitely just me. There's no way that anyone's going to walk uh, in the pitch black to the bothy. I've found these chairs, so I've just been sitting here and watching a film. But I'm getting a little bit cold, so I'm going to get the fire going. That'll last a couple hours and heat this place up. These fire logs are pretty good. They light up really fast and they last about two hours. Pretty perfect. That literally makes such a difference having that fire on. It's already so much warmer in here. That is really nice. So cozy when you've got the fire on. Oh, it's so nice. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this fire. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe four or five degrees outside. It's not actually that cold. It's got a bit warmer recently because of the storms we've had in Scotland, but still cold when you're not moving around. So having this fire is definitely nice. I'll definitely need to bring two fire logs next time. It's so nice having this fire on. And this fire will probably be out by the time I go to bed. So if I bring two next time, I can keep it going whilst I'm sleeping and keep the bothy nice and warm. But I'm not complaining. This is so cozy and I've got it to myself again. Absolutely amazing. Well, that's me finished tidying up the bothy for the next people that come. And it is absolutely miserable out here. It's so windy. I think those 60 mile an hour gusts were not lying. And it's just been raining all night. But luckily I've been nice and warm and dry and sheltered in the bothy. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you want to see more like it, feel free to subscribe. It's completely free and it really helps the channel out. And I'll hopefully see you guys next time for another adventure. Let's go.